How's it going movie and TV fans, welcome back to another review on the Film Nerd Reviews channel and today we are finally looking at a movie that I've been wanting to talk about for a while, a movie that I think is incredibly underrated, a nice little gem of a movie and that is 2019's Stuba starring Kimon Nanjiani and Dave Bautista among other people which also includes uh, the likes of uh, Betty Gilpin as well who is also in this movie uh, and Karen Gillan in a small cameo at the beginning of the movie. Now this is a movie that it feels like one of those smaller movies, and that's a good thing. And it's one of those smaller movies that I actually had the pleasure of watching when it was originally released all the way back in 2019 in the cinemas. And I was very happy I did, because I found this movie to be extremely funny. Um, I think the dynamic between Bautista and Nagiani is actually really funny. They have a really great work off of each other, and I think the script really helps in that department. I think the script they are given is, is very witty, and it really helps bring them two together as well in terms of you know, it is a very funny movie, both of these actors are, uh, give great performances, the, the story, while it does often take a, the backseat to, to comedy between these two, I still think this is a really enjoyable movie, and as right now it is currently streaming on Disney Plus in the UK, but um, in the United Kingdom, aside from that, it is only available on DVD, now usually when that thing happens, I just buy the DVD, but for some reason with Stuba, I decided to import the 4K Ultra HD from America, I didn't think it was going to work, I thought it would just be, uh, you know, just import it, it'd be cool, if we have. but it did work, so yeah, uh, and I didn't know in America that 4K boxes were so thin compared to the ones in, in, in the UK, but yeah, no, this 4K I have here, Stuba, I'm holding it in my hand, obviously you can't see it, but uh, it's American, so it's a nice little piece of a... Uh, what is what physical media is like in the stage which i didn't know included a 4k a blu-ray and a digital code which they for some reason they don't tend to do digital codes anymore in the united kingdom which is a shame um when you buy a blu-ray or 4k you don't tend to get digital code the only company i know who still do that is lionsgate but even then i haven't purchased a lionsgate blu-ray in a very long time so i don't actually know if if they still do that but i do know you know back in 2019 if you bought a lionsgate um blu-ray you would get a digital code for it i got Digital codes for the likes of Midway, Knives Out. I mean, I know you can get one for personal history of David Copperfield, but I've not yet purchased that one. Um, yeah, so I do know they do that kind of thing, which is a bonus. Oh, and John Wick Chapter 3, that's another one that I have a, uh, I got a digital code for the work, but that was back in 2019, so I'm not 100% aware if that's still a thing now, but yeah, no, I really do think this movie is a little underrated gem, it's really funny, there's a scene towards the end that, I showed my friend the trailer to this movie in class, and there's a scene at the end that he found really funny, and I, and I think he does want to watch it, I hope he does get a chance to watch it, because it's really, really funny movie, a little, it's more, it's definitely an entertainment kind of movie, but at the same time, it's still really fun, and I really did enjoy this movie when I saw it in cinema, and I enjoy watching it now, and actually, here's a little fact, that of all of the movies I've watched this week for the reviews, this is the only one that I actually watched the whole movie of because A, I hadn't seen it in a while and B, I actually really, you know, like watching it and it's only an hour and 35 minutes long, so. Whereas the others, I did watch a good chunk of it. I think Nightmare Alley was the one I nearly watched all of it of. Uh, and I did have Cop Shop on in the background for a lot, but I was busy on those days doing different things, rushing. So that's why I had to rush those things out. Whereas today, I'm not that busy. I, I am seeing Uncharted this evening again for the second time. Hooray! Ooh. This is just a really fun little movie that I highly recommend everyone goes and checks out because it's really fun. I think, like I said, our two protagonists have really great, a really great chemistry, a really great dynamic between the two of them. This is very much one of those almost body, body cop kind of movies, but also not at the same time. Um, like I said, it's got some real funny moments in it, and it is a very crazy funny movie that I just think it's brilliant i think it was very much missed when it came out in its original release schedule it was not a very big release and stuff so i recommend you go watch it these two actors have been in uh, actually have both been in marvel stuff now um 
with Nanjiani appearing as Kingo in the Eternals and Dave Bautista is Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy. So that's a fun thing. But at the time this this movie came out, I don't know if Nanjiani was shooting Eternals back then, question mark. Might have been. I will have to look that up. Um, but yeah, at the same time, this is just like, like I said, it's a nice little movie that is really quite funny. A very little underrated movie, in my opinion. Uh, music by um, Joseph Trapeze is... Uh, is a nice little movie that is very much fun and I think um, yeah um, it's like I said it is a very underrated little movie um, so yeah as so around the time that Stuber was released back in July of 2019 I believe production on Eternals had in fact begun uh, I think it was released in July yeah it was released in July on July 12 2019 in the United States at least I don't know I can't remember what it came out in this country um, in United Kingdom but uh, in July of 2019 which is when Eternals was announced I believe it was in production Oh no, sorry. By the time of the film's official announcement in July 2019, principal production had begun at Pinewood Studios. So, it was filming. I don't know if Najani was filming at that time, but it was filming at the time Stupid was released. So, there you go. That was the thing. Anyway, away from that. Um, like I said, this movie is just so much fun. I really, really enjoyed it. It's a nice little comedy, which nowadays comedies can be all over the place and this was one of the 2019 had some really good comedies this and good boys were really really good comedy movies and i do believe this is slightly better and it has a lot more going for it than good boys but this is still a really enjoyable movie that i personally think is a load of fun a ton of fun a great popcorn movie if you ask me a great movie to just if you can't think of anything to watch just put this on have a laugh have fun it's a really funny movie that I recommend you watch, but do not watch with the parents because there is um interesting moments. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, uh, but yeah, that's Stuba. Uh, I adore the movie so much. I think it's a great, fun little comedy that I recommend you all go watch. Like I said, our protagonists have great chemistry between them, and it's a nice story as well. Um, and the script gives them a lot to work off of as well, which is fun. Um, and yeah, this has been my review of the movie Stuba. Thank you so much for watching. Go don't forget to check out all the other reviews on the channel and such. Um you know we've got other stuff coming up next week. I I, I cannot guarantee it because I'm busy working on project two but I'm hoping to start playing some of the soundtrack review thing again and obviously the soundtrack review will be um Doctor No and From Russia with Love. So yeah. Enjoy it when that happens. Again, new music dropping next week. We're talking early next week. Dropping, um... Well, no, not next week, two weeks from now. But, but like I said, the new intro music should be out on Spotify soon. We're just waiting for them to process it. It will say February 18th, but obviously, it's not February 18th anymore, and it has been a while. So, um... Yeah, the new intro music should be out on Spotify soon. It is currently in the holders of the distributors and is being processed to the Spotify and other streaming services catalogs. So, stay tuned for that. And uh, I can't want to. I don't want to guarantee anything, but I think in sometime, sometime in March, I'm thinking late March, we're targeting the date of March 27th. Well, that's hopefully when pre-production will have wrapped up. Um, I mean, post-production will have wrapped up even um, for the release of the the album for my uh, college project that I have made. Nearly, I think it's. 50 minutes of music for that so well, i don't i don't know how long it is it's definitely not 50 minutes of music but we'll find out sooner rather than later um yeah thanks so much for watching have a wonderful day and do not forget to check out the other videos on the channel go check out stuber because it's a really good movie and i recommend you check it out now
And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful time. And yeah, Stoop is a really fun movie. Go check it out. Bye-bye.